For the first time in his presidency, Joe Biden will deliver a State of the Union speech. One thing Vladimir Putin did not want was a strong, united NATO on his Western front. And you know what he has right now? A strong, united NATO on his Western front. He's doing it under the backdrop of the crisis in Ukraine. We need to be united as a people, Democrat and Republican, to let the Ukrainian people know that we have their back. Here in D.C., the mayor has ordered Ukrainian flags displayed on Pennsylvania Avenue between the White House and the Capitol. The president can set a tone of agency over anxiety, that we are in control of COVID, COVID is not in control of us, that we can use the infrastructure bill and our investments in science, technology and manufacturing to expand our production of goods and services. We will lead the free world in rallying to the Ukrainian cause. The Massachusetts delegation speaking as one. Well, I think he needs to acknowledge that people have gone through hell during the last two years between COVID, you know, and all the isolation that went along with COVID, the, the closures of business. I mean, I mean, we've been through a lot as a country. I expect him to get an enormous uh, reception, bipartisan reception, on the way he's handled uh, the Russia-Ukraine situation. And the White House has just released some experts from tonight's speech from the president. The president will say, and I'm quoting here, when dictators do not pay a price for their aggression, they cause more chaos. And... The president will say tonight, Putin thought the West and NATO wouldn't respond, and he thought he could divide us here at home. Putin was wrong. We were ready.